people in Louisiana affected by Hurricane Ida. Hurricane Ida made landfall. As Ida made its way out. Hurricane Ida, what it looks like from space. Ida roared ashore Louisiana as a Category 4 hurricane, carrying winds of about 150 miles per hour. Also, stoking fears storm surge could bring massive flooding and damage to a wide swath of the Gulf. The extremely dangerous hurricane made landfall in Louisiana as one of the strongest storms in the state's history as Ida continues to pick up strength. It's easy during the hustle and bustle of going to work and raising children to fall into what I like to call the bubble. In this bubble, our bills are paid, we are employed, our children are fed, and they're clothed. Our problems stem around scheduling conflicts with extracurricular activities and having too many birthday parties to go to in the same weekend. But just minutes away from our bubble, our neighbors are struggling with very tough issues. Their houses have burned, they've lost children, their children are hungry, their lights will be shut off soon, and they don't have essentials to live. One of our goals with Bless Your Heart is to get outside of this bubble. We have become the hub where our community members can go when they have nowhere else to turn. And we, in turn, can inform those who wanna help about the needs of our neighbors. We have come to see that most want to help, but they just don't know how. And what do you think Bless Your Heart is? A nonprofit. So, Nat, what is Bless Your Heart? Tell me what it is. It's a nonprofit. Dakota, what's Bless Your Heart? It's a nonprofit. So, tell me, what do you think Bless Your Heart is? Um, a nonprofit. Hi, my name is Luke Newman. I work at Edison Trust Offshore as a CPA, and I'm a board member of Bless Your Heart Nonprofit. Working with Bless Your Heart to me is an opportunity to take everybody's inherent desire to do good in the community and multiply it by bringing everyone together to do the most good wherever possible. Our inaugural Community Partnership Gala in 2022 exceeded our wildest expectations. The event was sold out weeks before the event even took place and yielded, bless your heart, $60,000 to do good in our community. As a board, we always try to determine where our funds could best be used. This last year, our partners at Shell donated $150,000 to be used in Hurricane Ida recovery. After our many distributions at the Rose Civic Center, our board knew without a doubt we wanted to use these funds to help our other local civic clubs get back on their feet. I'm Neil Martin. I work at Golden Motors. I am on the uh, board of the Recreation District LRD3 and I've been on there for quite a few, quite a few years now. Uh, Bless Your Heart has really been a tremendous, uh, has made a tremendous impact for both the Cutoff Feud Center and the Rose Civic Center. Uh, those two facilities are the focal points for our youth organizational sports and adult sports. So by bless your heart, giving back to our community like they do for those facilities in mind, it's just, it's just unbelievable for them to do that. And it's, it's a great thing for the community. If, if you have the time and the effort to go ahead and just look at what bless your heart has done for this community, it's uh, tremendous. You need to look into it and, and do it, do your part. Because they, you know, they're always looking for the help also to be able to give back to our community. You know, too many times we ask, they give. It's time for you to come out there and give them a call and help out. With the help of Shell and the Bayou Community Foundation, Bless Your Heart was able to donate 35000 to the LaRose Civic Center, Cutoff Youth Center, and the Oak Ridge Community Park in Golden Meadow. Thank you 
to Shell USA for trusting in us and donating to our community. Chris Brantley, I'm the Executive Vice President and CFO for Crosby Energy Services, and I serve on the board of Bless Your Heart. Yeah, some of the most heartbreaking requests were folks who had damage to their homes and either couldn't get enough FEMA money or did not qualify for FEMA, but also did not qualify for SBA loans. So they were stuck with homes that needed repair without the ability to repair those. Uh, Ms. Jennifer Armand with BCF reached out to Bless Your Heart to see if they could lend a hand in helping rebuild LaFouche. Bayou Community Foundation has been delighted to partner with Bless Your Heart nonprofit since 2020. The nonprofit had applied to our Bayou Recovery Fund for COVID relief, and we were able to grant them money to help distribute household cleaning supplies and school supplies and other necessities that um, residents needed in South Lafouche during that time. What we didn't know at the time, that that was just going to be a warm up for what would come a year later with Hurricane Ida. And soon after the storm, Bless Your Heart got to work um, to help so many residents with relief. They distributed food and water and all kinds of supplies. And Bayou Community Foundation was so happy to be able to grant to them from our Bayou Recovery Fund for Ida Relief to do much of that work. We are also so excited now to have Bless Your Heart as one of our partners in our Rebuild South Lafouche program. Uh, starting this spring, um, Bayou Community Foundation has been repairing homes for over 30 residents of South Lafouche who are still suffering from damages from Hurricane Ida. And this October, we are delighted to welcome our friends from MDS StormAid, our Amish volunteers who have been working in Dulac. They will be working in South Lafouche to build 20 or more homes and repair so many more along with many other volunteers. And Bless Your Heart is working with us. They are serving as our grantee to purchase building supplies for all of these volunteer groups. And we're just so excited to have their partnership on this very critical program. Rebuild LaFouche didn't cost the, the homeowners or individuals anything. The labor came from about the Northeast, uh, the Amish and Mennonite communities came down, provided services free of charge. It is humbling to see the people who support Bless Your Heart in, in the community. It is, and it's just, fills your heart with humility. My name is Jere Jean Bonjaro. I am an attorney uh, in the South Lafouche community. I am the director of Bless Your Heart Nonprofit and I sit on the board. As a board, we pray and talk a lot about how we can make our community a better place. As children, we saw the pioneering work of Miss Peggy Bagala, who championed the beautification projects along Bayou Lafouche. So driving to and from work every day, we saw that the uh, two areas, north and south of the La Rose Lift Bridge, were really suffering after the hurricane. They were overgrown, they still had a lot of shingles from people's roofs on it, and we just felt like these were areas that when you come into our community, you see these places first. And so we wanted these areas to kind of be reflective of the beautiful community we live in. Um, so we contacted our partners at R360 and we proposed our idea to them about landscaping these areas. So kind of clearing them out and putting new landscaping and being able to maintain it frequently. And they so generously <laughs> gave us $10,000 so that we could fix these areas. And now the, the areas are freshly manicured, they have sod, and I feel like it really captures the kind of, you know, the, the really beautiful place that we live. Thank you to Troy LaBeouf and R360 for trusting us to use your funds for good in our community. What do we do? We help people that don't have money and we hand out uniforms and toys. What do you think we do with Bless Your Heart? You don't know? Nah. No. 
like at the uniform. Yeah. Give them school bags. School bags, yeah. A nonprofit. What do you think we do with the nonprofit? You help you help people. Hi, my name's Ross Jumbo. I'm an HSE specialist for Baker Hughes. I sit on the board of Bless Your Heart Nonprofit. So a lot of the projects you see is large scale projects, but the bulk of the work that we do is on an individual basis. A lot of people come to us with the basic needs of life. They need shoes, clothes, underwear, and we were able to help provide them with the resources to be able to obtain that. Second, we feed the people that are hungry. There's a lot of people in this bayou that are struggling and suffering, especially post Ida. We were able to help provide them with the necessities that they need to be able to get over the hump so they can get back to normal life. We also help mourners lay their family members to rest. A lot of folks come to us and, and they need help whenever uh, a family member passes away suddenly and didn't have an opportunity to plan for it. We ensure that teachers also have the tools to be able to teach our kids. That's one of the most important things that we feel impacts our community is being able to reach kids in, in large numbers. If we're able to help the teachers with what they need, that has a trickle down effect onto the children of our community. Our social media presence helps us with the outreach to our community. Not only does it help to show you guys what we do, but it also gives people in need an avenue to be able to reach out for assistance. In 2022, a local firefighter and combat veteran, Lucas Bourgeois, and his family suffered one of the most tragic things that you can have where you lose everything in a house fire. Uh, through social media, we were able to reach out to the community by doing some interesting things like raffling off whiskey and taking in donations directly to the bourgeois family. And through your support, we were able to provide $6,000 in cash among clothes and supplies and other things that people donated to be able to go directly to the bourgeois family and impact their lives. At this time, we'd like Lucas Bourgeois and his family to stand up. So Lucas Bourgeois and your family, where are you at? I know you're around here somewhere. There you are. Everybody, let's give the Bourgeois family a round of applause. All right, that's enough. Back to the video. Serving on the board of Bless Your Heart Nonprofit is a very fulfilling opportunity I've had in my life. Not only does it impact me, but it also impacts my family. It gives me the opportunity to show my kids that giving is a lot more beneficial than receiving. Whenever someone reaches out to us and they need assistance, it's just so fulfilling when you can give them whatever they need to help fill the gap that they have in their life at that moment. And one of the, one of the greatest things is just to think that maybe whenever they're at their lowest point and they have no hope in life, that whatever we're providing them could be that seed of hope that flourishes uh, for them to be able to go in an opposite direction. So just know that in the work that we do, uh, we bless your heart nonprofit. When I say we, it's all of us, everybody in this room that, that donates their time, money, effort, support, prayers to be able to help make this community better. Hi, my name is Hillary Danos. I work at the law office of Jure Jaro and I sit on the board of Bless Your Heart Nonprofit. After Hurricane Ida, there were many organizations that supplied our local schools down the bayou with food to fill their food pantries. There were a lot of children that were in need, but probably within six to eight months after, you know, that kind of started to settle down and there was still a need for food. We had local educators, principals, teachers reaching out and letting us know that they had kids that were going home and were in need of food. So once again, we reached out to the Bayou Community Foundation and we received a grant for $10,000. In our work with Bayou Community Foundation, uh, we meet a lot of people who love this precious coastal community we call home. And the volunteers who work with Bless Your Heart Nonprofit are some of the strongest, most passionate advocates 
for the Bayou Lafourche communities we've ever met. Um, I applaud their wonderful passion for this area, their generous heart, and all the things they do to give of themselves, their gifts, their talents, their services, their resources to help everyone in need. Um, congratulations and thank you for all you do. We were able to use that money to buy food and non-perishable things to stock all of our local food pantries to where these children weren't going home over holiday breaks and on the weekends without any food. The teachers would send them home with bread, peanut butter, macaroni, different things like that. Ensuring that the children in our community are fed is one of our highest priorities. Um, you don't realize it, but sometimes there are children that your kids go to school with that have nothing to eat. I always tell people not to be nervous to ask for help and not to feel shy about it or embarrassed. We all fall in hard times. You shouldn't let your children go hungry or yourself because you're too proud to ask for help. We had a local family reach out that they had nothing to eat left in their house and that she didn't know how she was going to feed her family that night. And it's because of all of the donations we receive from people like you that we were able to purchase groceries for her and stock their house with food for the children. In December of 2022, we hosted a Christmas party with the Lafourche Parish Fire District and LPSO, all of our local organizations. And it was a really big hit. We had over a thousand kids come. Um, they had free food. They all received a gift. They got to sit on Santa's lap. And it's just so important to do things like this in our community because otherwise these children probably wouldn't have these opportunities. So we just wanted to thank all of our community members and volunteers that make things like this possible because without y'all help, we wouldn't be able to pull off half of the things that we do. I'm Devin Didon, the fire chief of Lafouche Fire District 3. Bless Your Heart has been a big part of the fire service. So we began working with Bless Your Heart in 2020. It was October 2020 after Hurricane Zeta. They set up in the front parking lot of Fire Central, began handing out supplies to victims who needed it from a hurricane. So a lot of times we respond to a house fire and the victim is left with little to nothing to survive. So bless your heart, we'll contact them and they'll come in and put them up in a hotel, give them food, water, place to stay and just give them hope and, and let them get back on their feet. Uh, we, we've seen them go out and actually help get campers for people and let them stay in campers for weeks, maybe months at a time. One of our firefighters was a victim of a house fire and Bless Your Heart stepped in and actually gave him a place to stay, him and his family, for like two weeks and helped him get back on his feet. So it, meant, it means a lot to us. On behalf of all the members of Fire District 3, we'd like to thank Jure, Hillary, and the entire board of Bless Your Heart. The, the actions they do is not unnoticed. It has been such an honor and such a privilege to sit on this board and work for Bless Your Heart nonprofit. Um, it is very dear to my heart and something that I'm very passionate about. There's just something about helping others and I feel like God put me on this earth to help others and that's not something that I take lightly. So being able to be a part of something like this truly fills my heart. Thank you so much to everybody in our community, our donors, our volunteers, our board members, everybody that makes this possible. So we assisted many other families in ways that we really can't adequately describe. As a board, we try to protect the identities of the people that we help because I don't think it's appropriate that we flash the identities of people who are suffering kind of with the worst experience they've ever gone through in their lives. But we do think it's important to let our donors know about the good work that we do with their money. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of a balance. Sometimes we often wish that you could see and experience what we see and experience. Handing gift cards to local restaurants to a child with soot-stained fingers is an experience that will never leave you. The look of relief from a grieving parent who is unsure how he or she will be able to bury their child uh, when we tell them that we can help them is an experience that will never leave you. Your support of this organization provides hope to the hopeless and help to the helpless and food to the hungry. So thank you. Thank you for believing in us and our mission. Thank you for loving this community. We can never explain how grateful we are for you allowing us to use 
your funds to do good in our community. Why you think it's important that we help people? So they can live. Because some people don't have stuff and some people don't have food and they need stuff to eat and they need stuff to wear. Because we won't be nice. Wanna be nice? Yeah? Because we love Make our community better. That's not what you said. <laughs> Can we add bullshit into this? Yeah. Never saw the it. hurricane took the bobcat. I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Is that just me or does it make you like sweat sitting here? <laughs> Let's start over. Yeah. 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 All right. We're getting there. Damn it. Let me try that one again. <laughs> I was supposed to say something there? Okay. 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 Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Got you. So you, okay. You want to move on to somebody else? Yeah? Okay. Wait, no. Oh, okay. Plot. No, let me start all that over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. My bad. Was that lean? Yeah. That's kind of how I feel. Okay. Get them snowballs. Yes. 